My Jamie, you are my best friend. So incredibly happy. I finally be married here today. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of these witnesses to join Travis Joe Moore and Jamie Grace Gann in holy matrimony. My little girl, my little blue-eyed, blonde, baby girl. Father, we ask your blessings on Travis and Jamie, that their love will endure through good times and bad, that they will be a source of strength to each other, and that their union will honor you in all respects. We ask that you honor them with health, prosperity, fertility, and the continuing support of family and friends, and that they exemplify in their relationship your love for each of us. In Jesus' name, amen. This girl right here is my best friend. And I love her so much. I'm so proud of her every day. Can I first and foremost say what an honor it is to be here to see the bride and groom on this holy matrimony. Me and Jamie are as opposite as two sisters can get. While I was listening to Ellen Jackson and Dixie Chicks in my car, Jamie was jamming out to Yellow Card and Little Wayne. Jamie, you have such an amazing man who's going to be there for you. He's so loyal, stoic, <laughs> who will never leave you by your, love it, alone by your side. From the moment I held you in my arms, I promised to protect you. There's no love that you feel like the love for your child. I mean, there's a love for the spouse, your parents. But for your child, there's nothing like it. Few commitments are more important than the marital relationship. The foundation of love that it embodies is the solid rock upon which the family is built represents a love that is more than a feeling. It is the selfless and sacrificial love that was exemplified perfectly by our Lord Jesus when he died on the cross for our sins. Bottom line, I am so proud to call you my daughter. I mean, I light up.
but you were always there and you kept me going. I would look at you and I'd see how strong you were. I'm here with you and I've done two weddings now. I'm about to be a grandfather. And, uh, (laughs) but Travis, you got a great woman. You got a great woman. And I promise you, your mom would be so proud of the woman you've become. Travis, do you take Jamie to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her, for as long as you both shall live? I do. It's crazy that we've been thinking about this day for over five years now. So you think I'd be ready. (laughs) (laughs) But I've enjoyed and been so blessed with all the great times that we've had and uh, all the growing up we've already been able to do together. I know that I could not be where I am today without you. I know that you're everything to me. And and I can't wait. (laughs) I can't wait for everything that has yet to come. Thank you for making me feel comfortable when I get anxious. Thank you for never judging me, allowing me to be my true self. I want to thank you for being my best friend. I never thought I could actually find someone that I could be 100% real with. I know I'm not perfect, but I'm not bound to be perfect. I'm bound to be the person you are to me. I'm bound to support you. I vow to be on your side and fight for you, even when you don't believe in yourself. I vow to go to Mexican food restaurants, but please let there be a mar- margarita or a <laughs> And most important, I vow to love you and be by your side during our next adventures. (laughs) It is now my pleasure, by the power invested me by God and the internet, to pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you for the very first time, Travis and Jamie Moore.